Okay, so let's say you've made an amazing scene and you have this shader effect, which my shader effect pixelates stuff the further or the closer it gets to this uh, little black void here. But every time you try to enter material preview, it's the laggiest thing and you want a real time effect and you know what's causing the issue. Like in my case, it's this glitch vector node group. If I were to remove it, then it works perfectly fine. How do you make it where this glitch vector effect only appears in the rendered version? Because you love the rendered version, but you hate how slow it is in the viewport. Well, it actually happens to be really simple. All we have to do is this material output here. This is kind of the main thing we're going to be using. If we, if you ever looked at this material output and you see this little all, you can actually change it to either EV or cycles. So if we duplicate it down here, it becomes two different node groups. We want to change this material output with this ve with this little vector here. We want to change it to cycles, so then it only appears in cycles. What we can do is we can duplicate this and just rem basically kind of exclude it, and we'll change all to EV because the material preview runs in EV. So now. When we have the shader effect, it runs perfectly in the viewport, but when we go into the rendered view, you can see that the shader effect is there. So that's kind of the end of the tutorial. It's a small little one, but it's very helpful when you want real-time material preview and you have really complicated nodes. Anyways, I guess I'll see you guys later. See ya.